Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young girl whose stepmother always made her stay home with the baby. And the baby was a spoiled child, and he wanted everything for himself, and the young girl was practically a slave. But what no one knew was that the king of the goblins had fallen in love with the girl, and he had given her certain powers. So one night, when the baby had been particularly cruel to her, she called on the goblins for help. <laughs> Say your right words, the goblins said. And we'll take the baby to the goblin city. And you will be free. But the girl knew that the king of the goblins would keep the baby in his castle forever and ever and turn it into a goblin. And so the girl suffered in silence until one night when she was tired from a day of housework and she was hurt by the harsh words of her stepmother and she could no longer stand it.
But sad is sad. But I didn't mean it. Oh, you didn't. Please, where is he? You know very well where he is. Please bring him back. Please. Sarah, go back to your room. Play with your toys and your costumes. Forget about the baby. I can't. I've brought you a gift. What is it? It's a crystal. Nothing more. But if you turn it this way, look into it. It'll show your dreams. But this is not a gift for an ordinary girl who takes care of the screaming baby. Do you want it? Then forget the baby. I can't. It's that I don't appreciate what you're trying to do for me. But I want my brother back. He must be so scared. Sarah. <laughs> don't defy me. For me, Sam. But I have to have my brother back. He's there in my castle. Do you still want to look for him? Is that the castle beyond the Goblin City? Turn back, Sarah. Turn back before it's too late. I can't. Don't you understand that I can't? What a pity. It doesn't look that far. It's further than you think. Time is short. You have 13 hours in which to solve the labyrinth before your baby 